Hey guys, today we're gonna talk about the Access Control List or ACL. What is an ACL? Access Control List is a list of statements that are meant to either permit or deny the movement of data from the network layer and above. They are used to filter traffic in our networks as required by the security policy. Filtering of packets is a way to check the incoming packets and outgoing packets against set criteria so as to determine whether they should be forwarded or dropped. A router usually accomplishes this. Routers forward packets based on layer 3 information. When we apply filters, the router examines this information and decides whether the packet can traverse the network. If a packet passes the set criteria, it is forwarded, if not, it is dropped. The criteria used by the router to determine whether packets can traverse the network is made by configuring ACLs. With access control lists, we can filter traffic based on destination and source layer 3 address, destination and source port number, as well as the protocol in use. Here are a few ACL configuration guidelines. 1. ACLs should be ideally configured on the routers that act as firewalls in your network. 2. ACLs should be configured on the routers in your network to control access to sensitive information in a particular subnet. For example, an ACL may be configured to allow authorized access to the finance department network. 3. ACLs should be configured on the edge of your network, for example, to separate traffic from the headquarters to other branches. 4. ACLs should be configured to control traffic from the various protocols that you may have configured in your network. They may be used to filter traffic that is entering or leaving the router. What ACLs do? The ACLs work by doing the following. 1. Blocking specified traffic so as to enhance the performance of the network. 2. Provide security by blocking packets destined for sensitive areas in your network. 3. Determining the type of traffic to forward based on the protocols. 4. Denying certain users access to the internet while allowing others. Now, there are two directions in which ACLs can be configured. Number 1 is inbound ACLs with this type of ACL. The router checks the traffic it receives from an interface against the configured ACLs before determining whether to route the traffic. This type of ACL is essential since the router does not waste CPU cycles by processing packets that would eventually be dropped. Number 2 is outbound ACLs with this type of ACL. The packets are usually processed and forwarded to the outward ACL for filtering. In this ACL, the router first checks in its routing table to see if the packet has a destination. If the destination is not in the routing table the packet is dropped. The second thing the router inspects is whether the outbound interface has an ACL. If the interface does not have an ACL for the packet, it is forwarded. Finally, for packets that have an ACL that is bound to the outbound interface, they are inspected by the ACL group statements to see if they match any criteria. If they match any criteria, the router decides whether to forward or drop the packet. If they do not match any criteria and the ACL does not permit them, they are dropped. That's all for now. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.